The 1970s was the golden era of car chase scenes in movies. Everyone who was anyone was making them, and there are almost too many good chases to count, so we narrowed it down for you. Here are the top 10 greatest movie car chase scenes from the 70s. Starting off our list at number 10 is The Man with the Golden Gun from 1974. This is a weirdly entertaining movie, and so is the car chase, involving James Bond and an assassin who has three nipples. Bond ends up stealing a fresh AMC Hornet from a dealership to chase down the tri-nipple dude, and ends up sending it on one of the most famous stunts in film history. The corkscrew over the bridge was the first computer-modeled stunt ever, and was successfully performed on the first attempt. This film actually bought the rights to this stunt, preventing it from being performed in other movies. The the fact that this is the only movie car chase with a successful barrel roll from this era means that it had to be on our list. Coming in at number 9 is The Driver from 1978. This scene makes our list because it was the first to be filmed at night. Director William Hill did this so that his chase could be different from all the rest. It's also a great example of how reckless cops are from chases in this era. The cops in this film are absolutely ruthless. It's almost like the main character is at a wanted level of 5 from Grand Theft Auto. They give absolutely no f which makes for some great action. These dangerous stunts combined with the visceral filming style made this chase one of the more memorable scenes from the 70s and is what later led this film to be adopted into a video game and, of course, our list. Coming in at number 8 is Smokey and the Bandit from 1977. This movie made our list because it was the second highest grossing film in 1977, and because the car chase scenes run throughout the entire movie, and because it's Burt Reynolds in a Trans Am. I mean, come on, if that doesn't scream 1970s car chase, we don't know what does. But let's put this film in perspective. It was the second highest grossing film that year only to the movie Star Wars. That says a lot about this film as a whole. And the car chases definitely live up to that fact. The director of the film, Hal Needham, was self-proclaimed to be the highest paid stuntman in history. Now we can't prove that fact, and I don't even think Hal can, but judging by the huge stunts in this film, it's pretty obvious that Hal knows what he's talking about. Landing in a respectful number 7 is the original Mad Max from 1979. Mad Max movies are known for having awesome, if not the most awesome, car chase scenes ever. There was a total of 14 cars that got completely wrecked during the making of this car chase, and that's exactly what happens here. The blue van, which was completely obliterated during the scene, actually had the engine taken out so it would spin more dramatically. Not going to lie, I was completely taken back by that crash because it was seriously intense, and for that reason it earns a spot on our list. Number 6 is The Burglars from 1971. This French movie has one mega car chase scene that some consider the bullet of foreign movies. The most impressive part is that one of the actors, Jean-Paul Belmondo, actually did all of his own stunt driving for this incredible car chase. That's some fast and furious level awesomeness. I'm just gonna go ahead and give him the nickname Jean-Paul Walker. The chase involves a Fiat 124 Special T and an Opel Record tearing through the streets of Greece which were under military dictatorship at the time. We have no idea how they made that happen, but we are super stoked they did because this car chase is historically fantastic. Sliding in at number 5 is The 7 Ups from 1973. This chase was created by the same director and stunt coordinator that worked on Bullet and The French Connection. That right there lets you know that this car chase is going to be good even before you start watching it, and it does not let you down. These two guys are doing everything they can to kill each other, and they pull some pretty ingenious moves to get a leg up on one another while racing through the street. The cars featured are a Pontiac Granville sedan and a Ventura hatchback that get completely trashed during the chase, so much so that we get to witness the first ever hatchback convertible made in the world way possible by semi-truck. That brings us to Blazing Magnum from 1976 coming in at number 4. This chase involves a badass 1966 Buick Special chasing a 1971 Ford Mustang through the streets of Montreal. This high-flying battle between the two classic American muscle cars goes everywhere and sees no boundaries. The chase transitions from small streets to freeways to hillsides to doing donuts in a gravel lot and destroying all property along the way. Fire hydrants, rollovers, train jumps, the list of stunts go on and on and each one is more thrilling as the last. It was hard not to place this chase in our top three, but you're about to find out why. Breaking into our top three greatest movie car chases from the 70s is the movie Duel from 1971. It's one of the longest chase scenes ever made, given that it runs the entire length of the film with little to no dialogue in between. No music, just pure fear and engine noises. It's what a car chase lover dreams of. It's without a doubt the reason why semi-trucks became such a popular weapon of choice in car chases for many years to come. The possessed semi-truck just keeps coming, and it doesn't stop. It's so crazy. I mean, it's scary as f leaving you with one 
one message, don't f with semi trucks on the highway. The most impressive part is that Steven Spielberg managed to shoot this entire film in 12 days. He used that as a benchmark for how quickly a film could be made. Props to you, Steven. It only took you 12 days to give me nightmares for 12 years. Our runner-up at number two is the original Gone in 60 Seconds from 1974. It's another long one and it's damn good, with a damn cool car, and it's an interesting backstory as well. Most of the bystanders in this scene were unaware that it was part of a movie and attempted to help actors while they were screaming. The filmmakers also put oil on the tires to help the cars slide, which worked way too well and damaged a bunch of personal cars on the set. You win some and you lose some. Also true for the stunt at the end, the final jump went 30 feet high and cleared 128 feet, in which the star director suffered a compressed spine injury on the landing. Talk about giving it all you got, and that's why this chase is one of our top favorites from the 70s. That leads us to our number one greatest and most favorite car movie chase from the 70s with The French Connection from 1971. Let's get one thing straight here first and foremost. They were doing 80 mile per hour speeds for 26 unclear blocks going in and out of real traffic while dodging pedestrians without any filming permits. No filming permits. That's right, they put innocent people's lives in danger for the sake of making a great car chase scene. It's outright insanity. During the scene, there was an unplanned car crash with a commuter who just happened to drive into the wrong street at the wrong time. His white Ford was destroyed, but later paid for by the studio. The stunt driving in this scene was done by Bill Hickman, who actually dared the director, William Fredkin, to come along for the ride if his balls were big enough. And apparently they were because they went and they jammed on this street without a doubt. So you can blame it all on Hickman, even though William sort of egged him on. The sheer lunacy involved in making this stunt is what gave it our number one spot for two reasons. Uncontrolled stunt like this will most likely never happen again, and because the people making the film were as loony as the stunts themselves. As always, we'd love to hear what movies you think should have been on our list. There's a lot of them that could have easily made it, so let's talk about it. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more.